Hey, under the likes of Roly Delgado and Matt Hamilton. DJ Brown making his much anticipated debut into the Pyramid Fights cage. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. We are finally here. Introducing first, fighting event. out of the blue corner, standing six foot, two inches tall, weighing in at 150 pounds, with a professional record for five wins, five losses, fighting out of St. Charles MMA from St. Charles, St. Louis, Missouri, CJ, the Ground Shark Hunter. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, standing five foot nine inches tall, winging at 150 pounds, with a perfect record of 11 wins, six losses, fighting from West Side MMA from Little Rock, downtown TJ Brown. A lot of love for the hometown. Uh, it's not the first time he's fought in the Metroplex, first time in the Pyramid Cage. And I am super, super excited about this fight right here. Main event, Pyramid Fights 11, Jim McDonough, Nathan Kirby. Bro, you know what was exciting about that? I haven't been able to announce TJ's name in a fight in years. Years, that makes me feel good. Love this kid. This kid is so freaking talented. Oh, I was watching him in the cage earlier warming up. His kicks are so nasty. His stepping elbows are nasty. But CJ Hunter is a guy that you never know what you're going to get from. He's crazy. He's wily. He throws <laughs> angles, different strikes. He gave, uh, he gave Ooh, TJ man. an Easter basket yesterday. That was beautiful. Oh! That was beautiful when he did that. Oh. Gave TJ the TJ the Easter basket. What was great, what was great about it is, uh, uh, you know, being able to announce his name. What, what, when you said uh, crazy, he reminds me of Crazy Horse. Yeah, most <laughs> definitely. Yeah. TJ Brown got a great takedown. Again, CJ is looking for this guillotine, but uh, there's TJ. Got the head around, the, the arm around the neck. He's trying to Perfect. get up there. Oh, and throwing some nice bows, uh, you know, to boot. Oh, yeah. there we go. The ground shark. And TJ's jiu-jitsu over the years, man, he trains with some phenomenal guys. Roley has sick jiu-jitsu program. He really does, you know. These guys go and they just slay some tournaments out there. And I've been able to watch him continue to grow and develop in his wrestling and his jiu-jitsu. Just a full all-around MMA, MMA fighter. fighter. He is, and, and you know, he's fought the who's who. And he's really been able to put those striking together with his wrestling and his jiu-jitsu, like you said, to really become a, just a dangerous, dangerous MMA fighter. Really smart right now, putting CJ up against the cage. Keep it head up oh. there. Nice short little elbow. Beautiful that was elbow. a solid one. That look, look how calm CJ's standing, though, because TJ's putting the pressure on him. And that was a solid left was. elbow. Another one. So we've had some solid elbows tonight from these pros. Yeah, they've reminded us why the pros are pros, you know, for sure. Started with Jesse Hancock. Then AJ. Yeah, AJ, gosh, man. I, I really, TJ. I have an, a sick job. I'm pretty dope, just so you know. I love doing this. I love announcing these MMA fighters. I love being able to know that I've announced Bryce and Luis and uh, all the, and Thomas got the new UFC contract and watching Arkansas oh, MMA blow, blow uh, up. What a, what a special moment it is to be involved in the scene in Arkansas right now. Yeah. Mission control from CJ Hunter. Yeah, but AJ, uh, C <laughs> TJ, TJ, TJ CJ, yeah, we got them all, all oh, recovered. Oh man, man, again, TJ putting on some pressure on CJ. You know, you, you see CJ Hunter trying to get off his back using that head control. But look at TJ, he's just driving his knees through easy wrestling passes, driving with his knee, turning him. See how he's turning him? Everything Still using the, right the cage. Way. Knee to belly. Yeah, he's got to hide that knee. He's got in a half guard, but still, in this, this sport, that's dominating position. Oh, most definitely. Randy Couture always talked about he loved to stay <laughs> in half guard and just grind and lay down the pressure, which is exactly what CJ uh, <laughs> TJ Brown is doing right now. Yeah, CJ's got to really work on controlling. See those short little elbows? TJ is relentless right now throwing those because he knows that's what's going to do the damage to put him on dumb street, you know, just stupid street when your eyes go in the back of your head. But and TJ they add up, like you said, they're small, they're compact, 
And those elbows, we have, as we've already seen, oh, he's going for that Kimura. We see those elbows will cut you up, too. CJ Vanderbilt transition to get into full guard. He used that as, as TJ was going for this straight arm bar from the far side. Be able to extend his hips and reset back into guard. TJ still just relentless with this pressure on these elbows from the top. And I was excited to see, you know, CJ was through this very powerful uppercut when they were standing. I was excited to see the striking exchanges between these two pros. TJ just, I mean. You feel like TJ had, you know, it must have seen something in the, in the game plan that made him thought that if he got him on his back that he would be able to. Well, honestly, I can't remember. There's, you know, there's always talking on, you, you know, social media. I don't remember. I just, I'm trying to remember. I think I saw TJ saying something about, you know, we'll see about his ground or maybe whatever. I, I just think TJ's ground is underrated. Most definitely, because he's known for his striking. When right. you see a striker, you see why. But like Crisp. you said, when he's trading with uh, Roly Delgado, West Side MMA, you know you're going to have some uh, ground game, too. And he's just really staying on top and just grinding on CJ right now. Staying busy enough, doing enough damage. Oh, just short like elbow, that. Short oh, elbow. This is oh, going to go oh. unconscious if he's not careful. That You can't take too many of those, Mr. Kirby. He's able to pass the legs no. right in the full mount. 20 seconds to work. Oh, with. he's going for the head and arm choke. Yeah, he is. CJ's trying to push off, but it looks like it's tight. Oh, he's got the angle now. He's about to tap. He's out. Oh, TJ Brown, head and arm choke. Just put CJ Hunter on, on bed rest. And look at the damage on his face from those elbows, too. Wow, guys, what an amazing performance from downtown TJ Brown. I mean, you know, dominant from the jump street. And guys, Jim McDonough from Pyramid Fights, Nathan Kirby, Carmen Mallard, Josh Hudson. We just want to say that we, we we're thankful for all the support. Um, this is the biggest show we've ever done. We're thankful for all the fight uh, fans watching on the fight app. We're thankful for everyone that comes out in person. But guys, you haven't seen anything yet. And with that, I am signing out. Ladies and gentlemen, at four minutes, 50 seconds of the first round, your winner by tap.